Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for July 28th, 2020 and it is for the sign of Capricorn. That being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels good with you and the rest of it just leave it aside. If it doesn't feel like it fits with you, that it's good, that it correlates, just let it go. Okay, it was meant for somebody else. However, if you would like to have a personal reading and you do have any questions that you would like to have answered, so your life, your situation, your answers, your questions, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the um, corresponding information on what type of readings I can offer you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time. Please do subscribe to my channel to uh, show your support and your encouragement. So that being said, let's do begin this reading and see what is in store for you. I'm using the fairy godmother here. So this is a, a love reading with a fairy godmother message. So we have the self-worth card followed by perception, followed by um, rejection. So let's begin over here with the self-worth So this is really, you know, if I were here to say that you are very special, how would you react? Would you smile knowingly and graciously and just say, thank you, as you accept these words? Or would you shake your head hmm, and believing, no, this is not the case whatsoever. I want you to go deep within the totally honest of yourself. Now, are you honest? There you've done it. Well, done. That wasn't so hard now, was it? But for me and for your soul, it's very difficult. So why is it that you keep tearing yourself up to shreds, okay, and have such a low opinion of yourself? Usually it comes from somebody else. Cast your mind back to reveal who told you that you're no good, not beautiful, that you're never going to be loved. Uh, these are all lies and they're stemming from another's jealousy and control over you. So, whatever it is that one thinks, believes, or, or feels becomes that person's reality. If you keep affirming that you are no good, then that is what you eventually are going to become. Your energy is going to resonate it and you're going to grow to match your affirmations. Now, wouldn't it be just wonderful to be all that you desire to be? Well, that wish will come true sooner than you think. With a little sprinkle of magic and a little bit of action... So grab something that you can make notes on and just write. Write a list of all that you would like to be and decide to be it. For instance, you could write, you know, uh, I am loved, I am beautiful, I am worthy. And the more you focus on knowing that, all will come about in an instant, okay? The firmer you believe in the truth of your statements, the sooner you're going to create the person that you wish to be. So... This is all about your self-worth. We're going to follow after with perception, which is a slightly, uh, well, not slightly, you know, looks a lot like it. And I want you to look quite closely as I'm holding the card at the image in the mirror and look at the beautiful queen. This is how you are seeing yourself. You're seeing yourself as a distorted image. When you gaze into a mirror, who is looking back at you? I bid you to be truly honest with yourself at this time. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what can't you see that others can? Your perception of who you are is completely warped. Now, for no longer can you see a wonderful being. Instead, all you see are faults, guilt, worries, and shame that are just staring at you blatantly in the face. Is this the true creation of who you are? Of course it's not. So you've become shredded in a world that is painted by other people's negative comments and blames and projections. So sadly, you've come to believe that these lies, which will just build up within your mind, okay? Instead of seeing the true aspect of yourself and feeling wonderful, you've chosen to become who you really are not. And this is how, you know, most others now perceive you to be. 
Even though they shower you with compliments and praise, the only thing you listen to is all the negative aspects that have stemmed from jealousy, anger, and control into the past. So you need to look again. You need to open your why, your eyes. You need to acknowledge the magnificent magnificence of who you are and for what you stand for and how far you have come. You are a marvel and there was nobody else like you out there in the whole world. Okay, so this is really, it's time to look through the eyes of your soul and not through the lies of the inner critics. Okay, this is really about your perception of loving yourself. We're going to finish it off over here with the last card, which is the card of rejection. So, rejection from past situations have activated the self-destruct switch that you have. How often have you responded to romantic or friendships rejections by finding a fault with yourself instead of searching for the real truth of the matter? The disconnection you have experienced has caused great pain, which affects you outward behavior in response with others. Now, take back the power that was stripped away from you by the words and actions of others and reclaim your true self. So what if you judge, you criticize, and or make fun of who you are and what you stand for in on a little secret, okay, and what you stand for? Who are they to decide, you know, what is acceptable? In fact, here's a little secret for you that you should, you know, that should help you overcome the fear of such a treatment if ever you do receive this. They are actually very insecure themselves. That is my secret. So they are scared of anything that is not what they deem normal, socially acceptable, or to their own self-perceived standards. Now, of course, their opinions are absolute nonsense. For these people are clouded by their own judgments. They mask their own fears by projecting them onto you, and this is done in the hope that others, including you, won't notice their flaws, their faults, but instead see them in you. They're projecting it to you. There, how do you feel about that? It's not fair, but nevertheless, you now have the knowledge which will give you the confidence to ignore the psychological game playing that's going on. Allow me to soothe the emotional wounds that have been inflicted upon you and release your need to belong. Through the ages, those who were talented, gifted, and different from the norm were persecuted, ridiculed, and rejected in many forms. So I urge you to stand tall and be proud and be who you are. Okay? Be proud of who you are. So this does conclude your um, your reading. So, I mean, this whole reading here is really all about you. It's really about your self-worth your perception. Um, this is really about how you are not feeling well with yourself and it's creating a lot of problems relationship wise. Um, this is all about, you know, how can we uh, love somebody else if we don't love ourselves? So you really do need to work on all of these aspects here. Well, all of them, really, it's your perception and your self worth here. And, um, and see where that brings you and where that brings uh, your relationship. So I do wish you a really, really nice day. I do wish that this did, did open your eyes a little bit. I hope that it does help you. I hope it does at the same time open some doors for you, some doors to healing and moving forward, seeing yourself differently. Um, if you do have any questions, romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll be seeing each other for a daily snapshot tomorrow. So have a great day and thank you so much for your support.